Thailand ushered in a new age of train travel, as Southeast Asia's biggest railway station officially began operations on 19 January 2023. Located around 10 kilometers north of central Bangkok, the move aims to ease traffic in Thailand's busy capital. Moving almost half of all long-haul train services from Wa Lamphong Station to Bang Su Central Terminal will help the country realize its goal of turning the terminal into the biggest rail hub in Southeast Asia. The government also hopes that moving long-distance passenger train services to the terminal will cut back on trains passing level crossings and solve the traffic problem in Bangkok and neighboring areas. It's officially called Krung Tepa Fiwat Central Terminal, a name bestowed by the king. But commonly known as Bang Su Grand Station, after the part of Bangkok where it is located. The cost of the new terminal, including the station, elevated train tracks, and a connecting station for Bangkok's mass transit system, is around $1 billion, according to the officials from the State Railway of Thailand. Passengers will encounter a four-story station covering almost 30 hectares or around 3.2 million square feet. The government says the huge, modern development on the edge of central Bangkok will bolster the country's position as a regional hub and boost its economy. The Thai government envisions Bang Su Central Station eventually becoming a gateway to the rest of Southeast Asia. International tourists arriving at Don Muang Airport could easily transfer trains at the station to Bangkok or another city. Thailand's planned high-speed railway could also link the station to Suwanapum Airport, which also serves the Bangkok area, as well as to Laos. Almost all of Thailand's long-distance domestic and international rail services will pass through the new terminal, on which work began 10 years of construction. The first train out of the new station was bound for Sungai Kolat, on Thailand's southern border with Malaysia. The construction of the new terminal coincided with major projects expanding rail networks in Thailand and other countries in Southeast Asia. Largely spurred by China's Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative, and its high-speed rail technology. The 660-meter-long terminal has 12 platforms with 24 tracks designed to serve commuter trains, long-distance trains, and when available, high-speed rail. The station is able to manage up to 40 trains at the same time. In Bang Su's ultra-modern control room, banks of panels and screens oversee operations and make sure that everything is running smoothly. Video from more than 120 security cameras is monitored using artificial intelligence. In public areas, smart robots are on hand to assist puzzled passengers, and smart wheelchairs can carry handicapped people without human help. It can handle up to 600,000 passengers per day at peak times, more than 10 times the capacity of Wa Lampong Station. The station, built with public and private sector from Japanese assistance, is expected to serve around 1 million passengers a day by 2032. Delays in high-speed rail projects are a major concern. The link between Don Muang Airport, Suwanapum Airport, and the Utapau Rayong Pattaya International Airport in the southeast, has yet to begin. Amid ongoing negotiations with the government, regarding land rights and payments, the line will almost certainly not start operating in 2024, as earlier planned. A separate line to Laos, being built with technological assistance from China, is just 15% into its first phase. When construction began back in 2017, the line was supposed to open in 2021. But COVID-19 and land issues disrupted progress, and no contracts have been signed regarding the second phase. Without high-speed service, traffic at the new central station is expected to fall short of current projections. This would deal a blow to the value of office buildings and commercial hubs near the station, potentially resulting in losses for involved businesses.